Hey you guys, it's Faith here and welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry I have not posted in like two years. But um you know, I was sitting here thinking today and I'm like, you know, I haven't made a video in so long. And I honestly to be completely honest with you guys, I really do miss making videos for you. It was always a lot of fun. But uh yeah, I was thinking about deleting some of my, uh, not exactly, my, my older videos, because, you know, I'm trashing them, and sorry for the rain, you can't hear me very well because of it, we're kind of, yeah, it's raining, but, um, I just wanted to let you guys know, and no, I will not be talking this entire time. I am going to do a uh, cover-up more for the end, but we'll jump into that later. I just wanted to let you guys know that I'll probably have different stuff now, like gameplays, vlogs, some stuff like that. So, yay. But, first off, I want to talk to you guys for a minute. Man, I haven't been here in like two years. Two years? Yeah, something like that. Well, within these past two years, I've been pretty stressed. But I have been a lot better. I have been getting, I have been so much better from how I used to be back then. Like, I know one of the songs that I did a cover to was called, um, Bullet. Yeah, I was kind of depressed when I made that, so. Did it. But, um, within these past few years, I've kind of sat around and actually looked back at my past. And now that I look back at it, I'm like, okay, so maybe all this bad stuff has happened. But every time a bad thing happened, there was always something good to rebound it back off of. And I'm not going to go into detail about my past. But I do know I have a viewer or two that does watch me, and I don't know if they'll they still watch me or not, but hopefully they do, because you should know who you are, and I just wanted to tell you, I forgive you. I forgive you for everything, and I really hope you can forgive me for everything I've ever done. Now, it's still going to take me some time to build up my courage again and everything else. But what I learned from my past is that this is what makes you stronger. Everything that hurts you makes you stronger. If you look back at it and you look back into your future and you can, and if you think all the possibilities of the things that you could go through that are nowhere near what you've already been through. That's just how much stronger you're, you're going to be. And I have been put through quite a lot. And I forgive everything and everyone that has ever done me wrong. And I really hope if anyone ever watches this, and has ever done anything wrong to you, that you can find somewhere in your heart to forgive me as well. Um, I had spent time in my room a lot lately for the past few years. I kind of shut out quite a bit, but just recently am I letting people in again? Um, I had this one post on my Instagram, and it was a picture of me, um, about a month ago or something like that, and it was captioned, I don't know why anybody cares. I'm just my space. But it was by unknown. Unknown to me, by the way. I guess someone caught on to that. Well, someone DM'd me and told me that I wasn't a waste of space. And that each and every day I make them laugh, I make them smile. Whether or not my smile, my happiness, and you let escape. Theirs isn't. It is because I motivate them to be happy. I motivate them to be who they are. 
and it amazes me when I see something like that. So many times have people messaged me and told me that because of me, I have helped them through something, which surprises me a lot. And I have been spending time like Skyping friends who are having problems right now, texting people over Snapchat, you know, Instagram. It's kind of funny. And when I hear their stories of what they've gone through and they look to me for help, I normally tell them the same thing. You may have gone through all this, but nothing will ever talk to how many good things have happened to you. Nothing will talk anything. You need to stay happy all the time. This happiness is what's going to keep you going. I have learned that the hard way. And this is coming from somebody who really wished for the longest time ever they weren't here anymore. Man, I went to counseling and they didn't do anything for me. It took me, my, it took myself to think back about everything I've ever gone through. And to sit there and imagine, I'm like, I just went through all of this. I am stronger than I think. Most people will still then call you puny and weak because of what you've gone through. But if you think about it, you're still here. You're still alive. You're still smiling and laughing. You still have emotions. You can still feel. You may, you may feel like you're numb. But you can still feel. And you can still sit here and you can still smile. And you see everyone's faces. That shows you how strong you are. The fact that you can survive something like that and still be here today. There may have been days when you said, oh, just kill me now. I want to be dead. But if you sit here and you look back, knowing you're still here, it's amazing. I sit here every day, and I wake up with the biggest grin on my face ever. I look forward to going to school all the time. There are times that I, like, don't really want to come home, but I do anyway. It's amazing. Seeing everyone's faces and when I'm still here tells me how strong I am. The fact that I went through everything that I went through tells me how strong I am. I know no matter what I go through, I have my family behind me at all times. I have my friends behind me at all times. I have those who care about me whether they know me personally or not. They are always behind me at all times. And I have gotten a boyfriend at Colombo and we've been together for about eight months. And um he he knows I tend to hide my feelings a lot. But he has broken me as that habit. He really has. And I don't really hide it anymore. There are times I'm like, oh, well, I don't really talk about it. But if you ask me, and I'm in a good mood, I will actually tell you what's going on. But I used to shelter my feelings, shelter everything, just never talk. And I'm afraid that might have scared a few people, because there were times that I showed no emotion, or if I did, it was false. That wasn't the correct emotion that I was feeling. And it's just a mess. But I'm not like that anymore. And, um, I just want you guys to know if you ever, ever have a problem with someone to talk to, you, anything, I will sit here and talk to you for as long as I can. And hopefully, I can help you get through some things. You know, it sucks being sad, and I would know that. It absolutely sucks. You want to block everybody out and everything, and it sucks. I do want you guys to know that I'm here. Whether you know me personally or not, if you need someone to talk to and you don't feel like anyone is going to get you, I am here. Um, I will link my Instagram, my Snapchat, 
Skype, anything I can use to talk to you guys, I will link that down in the description below. But I just want you guys to know that I am here for you, no matter what, thick or thin. Now, I may not be able to answer you right away with my hours and school and whatnot, but that don't mean I won't sit here and talk to you. Um, I really do hope I can put a smile on each and every one of your faces because your smile is something no one should ever be able to take away from you. Your smile is, will always be gorgeous, always will be, and that's something no one should take away from you, ever. A smile is how, as I see it, someone's most beautiful, handsome, amazing feature about them. And it makes me sad when I see people, and they're upset and they're crying, they're frowning. But there have been so many times that I have seen people crying with the largest smile on their face. And that just lights up my world. It makes me so happy. I really do hope I can touch you guys as much as I can. And I am going to start trying to post daily again. Or at least a few times a week. And I am so sorry for never posting. But now that I've grown up a bit, you know, just a bit. I'm sitting here, I'm looking back at myself, I'm like, I have done so much more, and I'm so much stronger, and I know so much more, that, might as well just start over, man. Now, I'm thinking about going to my old stuff, but I might not do it, just because I can actually sit here, and I can look back at it, and I can see how much I changed. And I really hope maybe one day somebody will like go back through it and look at this and be like, whoa, she has gone through so much and yet she's still here smiling, laughing. Maybe I can do that too. And honestly, the only reason I want to make YouTube videos, the only reason I ever started was to maybe show some people some light. I don't know there are times when I like depressed or like stupid and whatnot, but that's just me being me. I swear I'm a three-year-old stuck in a teenager's body, so there's that. But I make YouTube videos because I enjoy it. I don't make it to make money or anything, because trust me, I don't make money or anything. I would never, ever do that to make money or anything. I make YouTube videos because it makes me happy to see people that like my stuff and view it. It makes me smile. And, uh, I know I've only been back for like a day. It's been two years. And I know I just got back, but, um, if we could, let's at least get this video to 30 likes, 30, 50 likes, something like that. But, um, I really do hope this touches a lot of you. So, I'm going to go ahead and get ready for this cover up I'm going to do for you guys. It's called Chain Breaker by Zach Williams. It's an amazing song and it really did touch me. I had just learned it this year and I just learned the words to it. But don't get me wrong, with the weird instrumental thing, I do have to like start off a little early because it likes to go fast on me. But, um, I might screw up. I'm running you now. But, uh... I hope you guys enjoy it, and if you guys haven't heard it before, go find it, go listen to it. It's an amazing song. Chain Breaker by Zach Williams. Let's go. Here we go. I need to have to look over for a few minutes. I probably will look back. If you've been walking the same road for miles and miles, if you've been hearing the same old voice or the same old lies, be trying to fill the same old holes inside. There's a better life. There's a better life. If you got pain, you're the pain taker. If you feel lost, you're the 
the way maker. If you need freedom, saving, he's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker. We all turn to the light of day in the dead of night. We've all found ourselves worn out from the same old fight. We've all run to things we know just ain't right. When there's a better life, there's a better life. You got a pain, you need a pain taker. If you feel lost, you're the way maker. If you need freedom, a saving, he's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker. If you believe it, if you receive it, if you can feel it, somebody testify. If you believe it, if you receive it, if you can feel it, somebody testify, testify. If you believe it, if you receive it, if you can feel it, somebody testify. If you got pain, the pain if you need freedom, save it. He's a prison shaking savior. You got chains. He's a chain breaker. You need freedom, save it. He's a prison shaking savior. You got chains. He's a chain breaker. And uh, that was Chain Breaking, you guys. I really do hope you guys enjoyed the song and that it may have touched some of you. Although, I kind of screwed up a few times with, like, the pitch. And I had to look over a few times, so it kind of didn't seem bad. But, uh, yeah, that's me. But uh, I do highly recommend that you go listen to the song itself. It's It's a really, really good song. And it had touched my heart, and I believe that it'll touch yours too. Hopefully, at least. <laughs> but, uh, I really do hope you guys enjoy this, and that you have fun with this. And I will be trying to post on a daily, if not three, three times a week, hopefully. Two, three times a week. But, uh, yeah, I really do appreciate all the support you guys have given me all the views all the likes all the comments it, you have no idea how much they mean to me every single one makes me smile every like i see makes me happy every view makes me smile and glad and honestly it just makes me want to like jump up and dance in which some cases i do gotta be on that mood <laughs> but uh yeah, I just want to thank you guys for everything you have ever done for me. You guys are absolutely amazing people. And I hope you all take this to heart when I say I love you all. And you stay happy. Don't ever let anybody take away your smile. Tell you you're not worth it or anything like that. Because in my eyes, you are worth it. Every dime, every penny, everything. In all honesty, no one can put a cost or a price or anything on your life or anything. And you are worth absolutely everything. I will see you guys again later. So, um, yeah. Also, in the comments below, 
I want you guys to choose a name that you guys would like me to call you from now on in my intros and outros. So, uh, I don't know yet. I will try to pick a few. There could be Faith and Aiders. There could be, um, Dark Angels. You know, whatever you want it to be. And, um, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys, and remember to keep a smile on your face at all times. You're worth everything. Everything. Bye.